Hey everybody, it's Spencer Campbell here with another, another tutorial. The tutorial today that we're going to go over is Google Voice, how to contact uh, parents and families uh, without using your cell phone number. Um, so what Google Voice allows you to do is to mask your cell phone number so that you can uh, call homes, um, specifically at this moment of time, right, in education where we need to make contact with parents and families for um, over the phone meetings or in-person meetings, IEP, uh, virtual meetings, different things like that. And so Google Voice is a great way to do that. You can use the old school star 67, star 69. Uh, some cell phones, it doesn't block or it'll come up private. Um, this is nice because then they can call you or text you back if you use your Google Voice number. So this tutorial will show you how to install um, Google Voice on your cell phone and use a masked phone number to contact families. So what you're going to do is you're going to first go to Google Play. You'll search for voice. I already have it installed. Um, with Google Voice, the important thing to know is unless your district or um, the Google suite administrator in your district or company has opened this for you, uh, you'll have to use a private uh, Gmail address. So I'm actually using just a personal Gmail um, uh, account to do this. Um, it has to be basically opened in the G Suite. Um, and a lot of uh, companies and schools don't do that because it's kind of expensive, but it does come with a regular Gmail account. So I'll be using a regular Gmail account, not my school account. I'll click on Google Voice. Um, I already have it installed. If you do not have it installed right here, it would click install. You'd click install. I'm going to click open. And what that'll do is it'll say, hey, we need you to choose a Google Voice number. What number do you want to use? and what cities are nearby or what uh, area codes are available for us to use as your Google Voice number. So uh, you can use your current number, which I don't recommend. That means porting uh, with your cell phone company, different things like that. You can do that, but I would not suggest that. So you're going to click on search. And when you click on search, it's going to pull uh, places near you. And so I'm near Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm going to click on Salt Lake City, Utah. It's going to give me a bunch of different options to use on my Google Voice number. You can see the 385 is now open. It's very hard to find an 801 nowadays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a piece of paper. You should have one next to you. And I'm going to write down the number so that I have it. Because this is the number that I'm going to be giving out. So as I write this down, um, I'm just going to use the one on top, right? The 385-218-0927. I'm going to hit Select. Now, after I hit select, it's actually going to say, okay, is this the number that you want to use? Yes, are you sure? Right? Um, and so when I click accept the number, it's going to link to this device. The device. And the device is your actual cell phone. So it's going to send you a text message with a six digit code to verify your account. So when I click on next, um, what it's going to do is it's going to give me a six digit pin that'll come through as a text message that I'll need to actually type into my phone to verify that, yes, this is my cell phone. This is the phone that I want to use. So I'm going to click on next. And then it's going to say, can I manage phone calls? I'm going to click allow. Then I'm going to type in my number. You would actually type in your number and I'm actually going to not do the screen really quick so you can not have my personal cell phone number. So hi, uh, as I type in my number, it's going to send a code. And that looks like this. So I'm going to write that code down 677133677133. It's going to verify that information. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to use your Google voice number when calling from this is devices phone app? I'm going to click no or yes on international calls. I'm going to select no. If I do yes on all calls, um, then it will basically anybody that I call, it will do. So what I choose is select the number before each call. And then I'm going to click allow to do your phone logs. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a number here and then click next and it should all be linked up and I'm actually going to cut this because that's my full work um, as this is done is I'm going to come over here 
and we're going to flip the camera here. So you'll see that that's my number. So I'm actually going to call for my office number right there. Whoops. See. Three eight five two one eight zero nine two, and I can't even dial phone numbers. Sorry, you guys. One three eight five two one eight. So there's the number, new number that we just got, and my phone. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Spencer Campbell. And there it shows that my school phone number is calling. And it comes straight into my cell phone number. So I'm going to hang up. Now if we wanted to make a phone call out. When I click on call. It's going to ask me now, do I want to use, what number do I want to use? A Google Voice, use a carrier number. So if I collect, select Google Voice, it's going to use the 385-218-0927 number uh, from this point forward. Uh, you'll have that option every time you do a call out. And I would click Google Voice. It's going to make that call and go from there. Again, uh, Google Voice number, uh, that's the way that, that you can install it. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that in the comment below, if you found this helpful or useful or valuable, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much.